Yes, so, hey guys, Big Man Motor Vlogs here. Uh, it was a bit of a, a tutorial on how to uh, ride your bike, like, uh, in the way of changing gears, because I've had, obviously, uh, I've had somebody contact me recently about how to change your gears, stuff like that. And sometimes it's actually quite hard to think, right, how do I change my gears? You know, because I've been, been riding a manual bike now, not an automatic, a manual bike for three years. I've been riding automatics for three years as well, so I kind of like got both kind of experiences on, you know, one's easier than obviously the other. The automatics are just simple. You know, there's no clutches to worry about. There's no gear levers to worry about. There's no rev matching to worry about, you know, there's engine noises. Uh, most bikes, most manual bikes are uh, down one, so first gear, then neutral, so you kick up, uh, and then two, three, four, five. Obviously some bikes have six, this one has five, my MT has six. And it's just one of those things that you just have to be careful using it. Um, and don't be afraid to give it a good kick sometimes, because some bikes, like my MT, you do have to give it a good kick down for it to go down, otherwise it won't. You know, the way I taught myself, you know, I didn't jump straight onto a manual bike. Like I said, I had three years of being on a scooter. Obviously, I should have gone on a manual bike a lot earlier, because I probably would then have bought a brand new bike. But I did have three years worth of theory done. <laughs> so in the way of uh, pra no, not practical riding, but in my head thinking, right, this is how I do it. Um, you know, this is how I do it when I have to change. You know, listen for the engine noise, things like that. So I, I was kind of like, um, I was practicing without a bike. So like sitting on a sofa, sitting on a chair, using my clutch, using my uh, brakes, my gear, uh, my gear indicators, my uh, <laughs> gear selectors, and I just used to go back and forth between them. And that kind of like helped me quite a bit, and I obviously watched a load, and when I say a load, I mean a load of YouTube videos about it. And I kind of gained what I felt like, it was just a lot of experience, it was like revising for an exam in that sense. Okay, so, a geared bike. Now, on a geared bike, um, pretty much everything you want to do with gears is on your left-hand side. Look, these bars when they're certain. Everything is on the left-hand side, so you've got your clutch and you've got your gear selector. Those are the two main things that, obviously, you're going to want to use when changing your gears. So, we want to stay in first just for now, uh, but for town riding, things like that, or even just general, you want to get out of first as quickly as you can. Okay, so, you are on your bike, and we want to put it into neutral. You got your clutch, that pulls in and out, and you got your gear selector, which is down here, if you can see it, down there. So, where you, normally where you want to position, where I put it anyway, is just over the top. So you got a little bit of play, alright? With, with your, obviously your hand, you want to pull your clutch in fully. Now at this point, but, but if you're doing your, uh, your tests and things like that, you normally go into first and then you put your foot on the back brake so you don't move anywhere. On a normal, in, uh, not a normal like flat like this, obviously your bike's not moving anyway. So sometimes I'm just now going to use my front brake just for now. Alright? So you want to clutch in and you want to give a nice big click down. So as you can see now, when I start letting this out, you can, you can hear there's a slight change, if I had an exhaust, bigger ex you know, if I was on my other bike then I could show you, but when I let this out, can you hear the bike changing its noise? So you want to find where that position is very quickly, so with me, it's going to be around there, so you can see the bike wants to move a little bit forward as you can see. Now with bigger bikes, when you let your clutch out, the bikes will move by themselves, really without you giving any gas. If you try and move this bike, you put four feet on the floor at this point, and you can just start moving your bike forward. So I can now move in without giving any gas. So I am on the biting point of my clutch. So it means that it's moving forward. Okay. So the point I did not give any gas whatsoever. 
Now it's not always the best when you do that because you're quite unstable. If you give it a bit of gas, it'll actually centre your bike and it'll make you a lot more stable. So this time, we are going to give it a little bit of gas at the same time as getting to that biting point. Okay? So, like I said, clutch in, down the first, and off we go. Okay? So, what I'm going to do is biting point, and I'm going to give it gas. See, a lot more stable that time. I'm still in my biting point at the moment, and then I can let go. And then I come to the stop, clutch in, and stop. Everybody cool with that? So, like I said, get used to your biting point. So, down in the first, biting point will be there. So, you can see the bike will want to launch forward. Okay? Obviously, if you let your clutch out completely, it'll just stall. What we're going to do now is to shift into second gear. So at home, you can practice, so you know, you've know you let your clutch out, you're accelerating, so you do that in front of you. Okay, you're going along nicely, and then what would you do next? Okay, so what you would do is just pull that clutch in, and you would get your foot underneath and give it a good push-up. Now you have to go through second, first into second, right? That goes through neutral. So that you would have to give it a, a mighty good kick up. Not too much of a kick, you don't want to break your gear lever, uh, your gear selector. But you just want to give it a good click up and that will go into second, okay? If you can see it, just have a watch of my, gears, my gear selector, all right? So what I'm going to do, I'm in first. I'm going to let my clutch out. I'm going to give it a bit of gas at the same time. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to pull my clutch in, off the gas, up to second, off I go again. I'm going to do the same, I'm going to go off the gas, clutch in, third. So what you should be doing, this should be a lot quicker, obviously, okay? I'm going to get going, so down into first. Uh, so I'm going to start letting it out so I can hear it, and off I go. So again, I'm going to off gas, clutch in, clutch out. So normally you can let your clutch out as quickly as you want to. So again, I'm going to go off, clutch in, kick up, off I go again. So it's quite a nice little progression of pretty much what I'm doing. Of you know, getting those gears nice and clean, as quickly as you can. Uh, but what are we going to do? Like I said, point point out, lovely. So we're going to go... So I've taken, you can see this hand now, I'm just going to go... Okay, so I'm off on, off on. Just a very quick little succession, all right? So again, I'm going to turn around and I'm going to show you about clicking down gears. Okay, clicking down gears. So let's get going again. So like I said, clutch out a little bit as soon as you're giving a bit of gas. So clutch out, gas, or throttle, whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to click up in the second. And up in the third. Now this time, I am going to go down a gear. I'll talk to you as I'm going up here. When you want to go down a gear, you kind of want to do the same as you're changing up a gear, but this time you're going to press down on it instead. Okay? Okay, so I'm going to get going. So clutch out. Change up. Change up. Right, okay, so I'm now going to go down third into second. Okay, so third into second. That's all really I'm going to do is off the throttle, clutch in, click down, and then back out again. Okay, now when you're going down the gear, you do want to leave that out a little bit, a little bit slower than I did then, otherwise, you jerk forward. So I'm going to go up in the third again, and then I'm going to off throttle in and out nicely. Okay, and like I said, I need to pull clutch in, kick down, off I go again. Right, but that is very jerky as you can see. Now, this will obviously you have to get a bit of practice with this. You are now going to give a little bit of throttle when you kick down. Now, this may not be easy for everybody, but it's quite simple when you get going. So, what we're going to do, like I said, clutch out, rev up. We're going to be going to go into third, okay? So, clutch in, uh, clutch out, off we go. So, second, third, and so all we're going to do is just very quickly blip that throttle when we kick that lever down. So we're going to do that. Okay, so you heard me click down. So I'm going to go up, go up again. So when I click down, so all I'm going to do is give a little bit of blip, okay? 
Can you see that when I just give it that little bit of um, as I go up? All right. Like I said, little bit of um, little bit of uh, throttle when I kick down. All right. So I'm going to go. It's a bit. It's a lot less jerk, yeah, especially when you're going at a quicker speed. Uh, last little thing is about feathering it. Feathering's pretty good, especially when you're going a little bit slower. You can feather, um, you know, in slow traffic, things like that. You just want to be on that biting point at the same time as accelerating. So you want to do that kind of thing, okay? So you're going nice and smoothly, so you can pretty much then go as slow as you want to, right? So what we're going to do, um, obviously on the back brake as well, sorry, when you feather. Uh, that gives you a little bit more stability. Uh, Stable, much more stable. Yeah, so what are we going to do? This is good for slow riding when you're doing your full test as well. So pretty much we're going to be on the biting point. We are going to be accelerating a little bit. And we are going to be on that back brake. Alright, so we're just going to push it down just a little bit so we can slow ourselves down. So, okay, so clutch out, build throttle. And we're going to be on that brake. As you can see, I'm, I'm keeping that clutch in. So I'm on that. So you can see I can go pretty slow and still be pretty stable with my bars because I have got my back, my foot on that back brake as well so I'm going to let it out so I'll show you again so I can be clutch in that biting point foot in that back brake, give it throttle with this and you can go as high as you want to but you see I'm not going any quicker it's because I'm in that biting point so you can go lovely and slow with really all of the balance that you want. So that's great for slow riding. That's what I love about feathering the clutch. It's brilliant. Um, but yeah, I hope you found that a little bit interesting. I believe a couple of people, like I said, now have got their MTs. It may even be their first bike. So hopefully you found this quite interesting. And obviously I'm not the perfect rider in any sense, you know, but I do think I'm pretty good at the gear bit of it. <laughs> I've been riding for like three years, like I said, with using gears. So, you know, <laughs> I, I think I have a little bit of experience in it. But if anybody does want to share their thoughts on, you know, ways that they do their own gears. Obviously, like I said, a lot of people do different different things different ways of doing it but at least you know the basics now because obviously a lot of people have so many different ways of doing it than you know you can watch 10 videos and you've got five people doing it slightly different ways but uh, i hope you guys obviously found this a bit interesting and helpful if you did uh, give me a well, leave me a, a like if you want me to do more videos like this then obviously i will let me know and i shall catch you very soon guys, uh, bye bye, uh, bye bye.